All right, I'm going to give you a quick demo here of using IQ Feeds news client, uh, including with the new Benzinga Pro content that's now in our base service. So, to launch IQ Feed news, go down to your system tray, look for the DTN IQ Feed connection manager icon. Once you're uh, already running IQ Feed, right click on there, choose display apps, and then news. That's going to launch the news application. First thing it does is load the last 500 headlines for each source that you're authorized for. You can configure that on your own by coming up here to the settings. You can choose, I've got it set to pull a thousand headlines currently. And then in the window here, we've got our news tree with all of our different categories, the uh, story headlines, any symbols, date, time, and then down here is the full text for the stories as you pull them up. So real quick, we'll expand in the news uh, window. Right now we're looking at all the sources that are coming through. Uh, I'm currently authorized for uh, some of our premium wires as well. Uh, but uh, just to give you an idea of some of the content we have available in our base service, that includes PR Newswire, Business Wire, Real-Time Trader, or RTT News, which is broken out into multiple different segments. So if you just want to see their breaking news headlines, uh, big stories, uh, economic news for example uh, and so on you can uh, do so you can expand and contract those uh, midnight trader or MT newswire that's a, a premium newswire fly in the walls a premium newswire market watch is a premium newswire we have that broken out as well so you've got the headlines the market pulse and the full stories available globe newswire and market wire are both included in the base service as well and then Benzinga Pro so uh, uh, Benzinga Pro is recently added. It's uh, a premium wire that's included in our basic service, so you don't have to pay anything extra for it. It is real time. So I can uh, bring up that source. I can look and see. Uh, we include uh, some coding for the different symbols. So BZ ratings, for example, you know that uh, this is uh, a rating story. It's an exclusive from Benzinga and so on. I can click on the story. Some of them are headlines only. Some of them are full text, such as this. All these stories are going to be streamed to you in real time, so it's going to dynamically update. And uh, you can then set up various filters and alerts if uh, you desire as well. So in the base install for IQ Feed, we actually set up some filters specifically for Benzinga Pro to make it more powerful. Uh, if you expand your filters and alerts, you see we've got uh, things broken out so you can see the exclusives, uh, earnings reports, rumors, FDA stories, and so on. Trade in Forex, look at the, just the Forex. Any hot stories, trading ideas, and so on. So in addition to uh, just watching the stream as it comes in, I can come back up here to All News, and uh, you can see how stories are, are filling in. I can also search for stories by symbol. Click on the search here. If I want to look at uh, just symbols for, uh, let's do Alibaba, limit it to 1000. I can do it by a date range as well. But we'll go ahead and just hit OK. And here's all the stories from all sources that I'm authorized for regarding Alibaba. And you can see these are from Fly on the Wall, Benzinga, Business Wire, Benzinga Fly, so on and so on. So I can uh, do that, but then I can also create my own custom filters. So if I want to do that, click on the filters. Right now I've got, uh, again, multiple filters set up, including one that's just all news except for Platts content. Uh, and then I've got the various Benzinga categories. So if I want to just look at one of them, here's the rumors filter and alert that I have set up. It's looking at just the Benzinga Pro, and it's looking at uh, any symbol with BZ rumors in it. Uh, again, we're using the symbol field to uh, categorize things and make it a little bit more useful for you. If I want to create a new filter, I can say I just want uh, stories on Alibaba. I can choose the sources that I want. In this case, uh, let's go ahead and do Business Wire, Benzinga, Market Wire, PR Newswire, 
globe and we'll just limit it to those for now and I want to put in symbol BABA and then what I want to have happen in this case I can uh, have it pop up a message box or play a sound or I can even have it read via text-to-speech I can have it read the headline by putting in variables such as headline anytime a story comes in for Alibaba it will read that over my speakers to me in this case I'll just have it set to the default sound we'll have it go ahead and pop up a message box and I will save that so anytime a story comes in for Alibaba it's going to pop up and now I have it listed under my filters and alerts I can see any stories that match that criteria as well so I can set up as many filters and alerts I can put multiple symbols in there so if I have a watch list of say 50 uh, stocks that I'm watching I can create a filter with all 50 of those if you're a DTN IQ customer if you use our IQ client uh, you can set up a watch list in the watch list app and then it will automatically pull in those symbols from your watch list uh, so you don't have to enter them separately in here in addition if you want to send a headline to somebody else all you have to do is right click on the headline choose email story enter in an email address and it'll email that story out to uh, whoever you want so that's just a quick look at uh, the news application and how it operates if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact our customer service group. We'd be happy to answer any questions or help you get things configured.